example, find the sum of the interior angles of each polygon. Now notice how this polygon, or both these polygons, are not regular polygons. It doesn't look like it's equilateral, it doesn't look like it's equiangular, but it's okay because we're just looking for the sum of all the interior angles, okay? So since it's not regular, we would not be able to find what each, the measure of, of each angle, but instead we can find the sum, what all of them add up to because it depends on the polygon, not the type of angles inside the polygon. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a hexagon, a six-sided polygon. And that means in a six-sided polygon, we have four triangles. Remember, we subtract two. We get four triangles, and then we have to multiply this by 180. So four times 180. This is 32, 720. Okay, so that means the sum of all the angles inside here are going to be 720. Now, <clears throat> if, let's say, I'm just gonna um, add to this problem here. If, let's say this was a regular polygon. Say that all the sides are the same, and all the angles are the same, okay? So it's equilateral, it's equiangular. And I wanna find, okay, well, what's the measure of each angle then? Since each of these angles are the same, I know that all of them, all six angles together are gonna to add up to 720. How can I find the measure of just one of them? Since they're all the same, right? How can I find the measure of just this one? Measure of angle A or measure of um, one. I have, since they all have 720, and they're all the same, they all have the same measure, and there's six of them, I can just take 720 and divide it by six. 720 divided by six is going to give me the measure of each of these angles, right? Okay. So then here, you do uh, 720, divided by six, each of these angles is gonna be 120. 120 here, 120 here, 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 okay? And that's only if you have a regular polygon, meaning all the angles are the same, okay? All the angles have to be the same for you to be able to divide your angle sum um, to figure out each of these angle measures, okay? The next one here, this is um, to find the sum of all the angles inside. This is a quadrilateral. We only have four angles. So um, this is just going to be 180 times two. So let's just use a formula, 180. N minus two is the sum. 180. We have four sides minus a two, so that means we have two triangles. 180 times two we know is 360. Oh, I said 360 and I wrote 320. 360, okay? Now again, if all of these angles were the same, were congruent, uh, this is um, equilateral and equiangular, so it's a regular polygon, then you would take 360, you, you can divide it by four, and that would just be 90 degrees. So that that's if each of these angles were the same, okay? Then each of them would have a measure of 90. And we know that that would just make this a square, right? If it was equilateral, equiangular, or quadrilateral, okay, that would make it a square. And then we know that this each of these angles have to be a right angle. Okay, but for the sake of just knowing what to do, if you have a polygon that's uh, regular, okay, not just a quadrilateral, but any other type of polygon, regular polygon, you would just take the sum and divide it by the number of angles you have, okay? 
And that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.